Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday. I am excited to, to do this. Um, I'll tell you more about it after we say hi and hugs to Cheryl, Cindy, Sharon, and Tammy. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well, the other day I went to use some of my cream paste and it was all dried up and it made me so sad i'm like i've got this gold cream paste from stamperia and i don't want it to dry up it's okay right now so and then i have my white so what i've done is i've grabbed a few things that i wanted to use um the cream paste on this little cover I'm thinking I'd like to somehow, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this, but I want some gold on it. So there's that. I might wait until I'm, I have practiced a little bit. I have this pile of stuff from my to-do box along with these tags that I thought I could do with the gold. The gold kind of says to me, fall so um so i have that pile and then this pile is some that i think i like to do with the white so maybe we'll start there and go from there yeah i just was like i was so sad there wasn't a ton left there was maybe a quarter of the jar but i was like oh no i gotta throw it away that's no fun so I have a variety of, of my stencils out here, mostly just these little ones because that's really all we need for this stuff. Um, so I have this one. It was really bright and then I gessoed it. And then what to, or maybe that's not gesso. Maybe that is, um, Oxide spray. I'm not sure, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna put something over it. I'm just deciding what I might like. These are all my Timmy ones. All my Tim. Oh, I've got two of those. Who knew? <laughs> Obviously, I didn't. Oh goodness. Um. There's a flower one. I'm thinking I'd like to use that. All these are well-loved stencils, that's for sure. Got two of that one, too. Well, oh, there's the one I was thinking of. This one, it's called Doily, Tim Holtz. And I was just thinking that might be kind of fun. I've got my heater on this morning. My goodness, it's chilly here. It's rainy. It's, you know, kind of misty and stuff. It's Saturday morning. I'm on my two last videos before my little, little, my fun time with my family and with my grandson. So, yeah. I'm going to be late because, um, you know, of the timing, but tomorrow is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to the dads out there. We aren't doing much because we have lots coming up, but I'm going to take my husband out to lunch and a little lunch out and have you know have a little time just out of the house be good so I'm getting a whole bunch of uh, vintage photo coming off of this which is okay too ooh I like it boy doesn't that add a lot it's so crazy Okay, do I want this on anything else? I really like it. I might do that one. This one could have flowers. This one has um, 
some Nouveau Glaze on it too. Here's what I want to do on this one. I just want straight down this away. kind of like it with the vintage photo rubbing off on it. Ooh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Maybe just a little bit on this edge. Could I? Can I do that? Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's definitely very textural. Okay, so I'm going to grab these two. And I'm going to start setting them over here on my table to dry. The, the only difference I see with this texture paste and um, like modeling paste is that it this is... Well, it's creamier for sure. And also it's um, it's creamier and it's uh, it dries quicker. And when it dries, it's a bit softer. Modeling paste can be kind of hard and pokey. Okay, I need something. I need just a piece of paper to clean things off with. Um, I just don't want to get it at this point all over my drop paper. Later, I'll, I'll leave stuff on my drop paper because, you know, I make, um, I make art journals out of them. Okay, so that is cleaned off. Put it over here to dry. Okay. Okay, that you little piece of paper, you stay handy too. Okay, let's do a different, let's do something different, a different design. Um, this one's really cool. I'm not gonna remember where I got this, I'm sorry. I think it might have been Shy's Art on Etsy. I'm not positive, but I think maybe. This is really uh, such a cool one. Let's let's try it on this one. And I think I just kind of want that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how we do on this. This one should be whiter because it doesn't have. Might have a little bit of um, vintage photo left over from the last one, but. On its own, it shouldn't have any. I really, I really like this Stamperia cream paste, guys. Um, I personally, I like it better than modeling paste, but I use modeling paste too. But I just really think it's a, it's a cool texture. I like frosting and who doesn't who among us does not like frosting okay ooh that's a cool one when we get to the end I'll I'll put them all up to the camera so you can keep see close up and personal now the other thing you can do with this I'm not today cuz I don't have my paints over here but um you can take a little put it on a palette and mix it with paint to get colors too okay let's see this one already has one of these let's see do i want to use this on anything else i don't think so I don't think so. So, I'm going to once again wipe it off. 
on here. This will leave a little texture on this paper too, which is kind of fun. You know, just have a little bit of, a little bit more texture on this, whatever this is. This is a jelly print, I guess, that I don't know if it turned out as I planned or not. Okay, where is the stencil like this? That's what I'm looking for. I didn't really see it. Here's some numbers and stuff. That's fun. Oops. Got this attached. Shoot. That must have torn or something. Okay, let's see. Lots of numbers there. Oh, maybe that's not a Tim Holtz. I don't think it is. That's, that's why. Okay, well, it'd be kind of cool to have something different all together anyway. This one, you know, it's flourishy like that one, but a different size. That might be kind of cool on this. Okay, and I'm thinking I don't want to cover the whole thing. I'm thinking I just want kind of a, a swath through it, kind of. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see how we do. That's cool. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, let's put it over to dry. Okay. Um, I also want to do, this one's got kind of swirls on the paper. And so I also want to do this one that way. We'll go the other way. nice okay this is exciting for me too because I'm finishing some tags <laughs> it's like oh my gosh okay this is just a piece of folded cardstock coffee dyed cardstock and I am just going to put some of this on here um yeah uh so many tags in my to-do box like when Mike was picking I'm like okay not everything should be a tag so as I was telling you he was giving me a bad time for letting him pick and then telling him what what he couldn't pick <laughs> okay ooh that's cool that's really cool Ah, uh, coffee dyed envelopes are really fun to do this on too. Maybe we need to do one of those. Let's see. Do I have one up above here? They're all kind of look like they're all they are all um what do I want to say? They're patterned already. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I found this up there though. So I'm not sure what I want to put on that yet. Not this. I'm kind of wondering about putting the swirls just down this dark part. What do you think? Let's try it.
Ooh, that added something, didn't it? And I'm just gonna do that little corner. Mmm. That added some. I feel like maybe I could, in this area, do some stenciling with just, you know, with just some distress ink or something. Okay. Let's see. I need to wipe this one off. Maybe we'll just... We'll just do this too. Just trying to clean the knife and the stencil. There you go. Oh, that's pretty. That's just fine. Okay. That's enough of that one. I'm so paranoid I keep <laughs> putting the putting the uh, foil down just to make sure I don't let it dry out. I've got my heater on too and I don't want that to ooh, that's pretty. Don't want that to do anything either. Okay. There's that one. Too dry. Um what was I thinking I'd like to do on this? You know, it's kind of like once you have all this stuff out, why not just go for a bunch of them? I think I want something maybe funkier on this one, like maybe some of this. Like that. And that might come out a little bit vintage photo we because it looks like that looks like I've used it to stencil with that oh my husband's gonna go on the treadmill I can hear it beeping we've got a bit of Addie's Orlando tournament games to watch today and <laughs> um, our son-in-law came he didn't go with him to Orlando, and he came up here to Helena. One of his college buddies lives here. He's actually my radiologist, so he reads my mammograms, which is a little weird. <laughs> but that's what happens when you work at a college for years and years. I used to tell the kids, I'm raising you up so you can take care of me when I'm old. <laughs> and they do. My son-in-law is my eye doctor. This kid, kid, he's in his 40s, but is a radiologist. Um, if I ever need eye surgery, my son-in-law's other friend will do that. So, yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, more to be done to that one, I feel like. Um yeah, but anyway, it's kind of funny because, but he's going to spend the weekend with him at his house. He just lives up the street and, you know, they're just going to hang out and just eat out and, you know, probably watch sports on TV or whatever it is guys do. So he brought Alfie here. So we have Alfie. So he came by last night and anyway he he said spoiler alert they won one of the games. <laughs> so that was kind of that was kind of funny. What do I want to do with this one? Stencil wise. You know what? I feel like this one because this is sort of red, white, and blue, sort of. I don't know. I feel like it needs this. This almost looks like a firework exploding or something. I don't know. I'm just going to.
Let's do kind of a blotch of it in the middle and see how that is. Ooh, that's pretty. I like it better than covering the whole thing even. Okay. All righty then. Well, don't really want to do any more with that one. So, I know people always say you should have a tub of water to throw your used stencils in. I don't. I don't worry about it. So this one, what I was thinking on this, this is a little pocket. I was thinking about like just doing that. Um, maybe, do I have, yes. I'm just gonna put that there so I don't get anything on that part. But what do I want there? I'm going to use this quite a bit. I'm going to use this quite a bit with the gold. The leaves will be nice, but I think I'll... And these are just the stencils that I keep right at hand. So, okay, so once this dries, if I wanted to... Um, I could paint this. Had enough on my palette knife to do this, I think. Okay. Like it. I like that a lot. Look, isn't that cool? Yay. Okay, I've got quite the uh, quite the stack happening over here that are drying. We have to move some things. Okay. Um, one more with the white, and then we're gonna go. And then we're gonna go with something else. I think I want flowers on that one. when I was looking before. Sue so, is it in this batch? Nope. That one needs to be hooked on there. Oh, this one. And this one is called, what is it called? Lace layering stencil. I was thinking that would be pretty on here. Now it's got some blue on it. Is it gonna come off? I don't know, we'll see. It is coming off a little bit that's probably my guess is that's distressing now I don't want to contaminate besides acrylic paint you could also pop a little bit of distress spray on here you know into the into the um, cream paste more. Okay. 
did that. Ooh, that's pretty. It's light blue flowers because of the ink that was left on there. There's a there's a um, case for not cleaning your stencils so thoroughly. Okay, I gotta put that there. I'm gonna have to rearrange. I'm gonna have to rearrange a little bit. That's right here where it's white. Let's clean that off. Cause I am going to switch over now to the gold. real pretty. I'm excited. Okay, so now I've got, I've got a bunch of D's, a bunch of D's. So this one is, it's a mask instead of a stencil, so it's like, you know, the opposite, the What's usually the um, negative space is flip-flopped, if that makes sense. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, and I forgot I have jelly prints down there. I have lots of things to play with if, if we need more time. So, see, this was, the, was what did this and the spray. So, what I was thinking is like on the front, I want to find, I want to be able to, maybe here, yes, okay. So see, I put that back over, and then I was thinking of scooping some gold on it just so it has a little something shiny and really I'm just going to do the front I'm not going to do the back because as you're using the journal theoretically you might um, I don't know how I want to do this exactly I'm just going to go for it you know nothing, nothing ventured nothing gained so now we've got gold let me wipe off this Right, so wish me luck. I don't know. I was thinking about just like a an edge or something of the leaves, but I don't know. I don't know how I do that. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna do this. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe just by using just a little. Now, see how this goes. Holding my breath a little bit.
Sorry, I'm not talking. Concentrating. I don't want to ruin this cover. And I had a vision, but I just don't know how to quite achieve it, but we'll see. We'll see how we do a little bit right up here. Okay, I'm going to stop. Ooh, holding my breath. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I just wanted to kind of out, outline. Can you see the shimmer on that? Outline those leaves a little bit. Okay, I really like that. I'm excited. Okay, so whilst we have this out, what else would we like to do with it? So this is a jelly printed envelope. And usually what I do with those is fold them in half this way and make them into pockets. So I don't know, but we're just going to go for it. Now this one I want to be more filled in, not just not just a little bit, but I want it filled in because then you can tell that it's leaves, if you know what I mean, going around this mask. I didn't leave the flap down because... Um, I don't want to glue it shut with this stuff. Okay. I really do love the gold. It's cool. I don't know if they have other colors. I should look into that. You know, maybe they have a like a silver too or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's Pull that off. Come on. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Huh. Well, that doesn't look like leaves at all. But I'm going to finish it off. I mean, you can kind of see them, but it's a little more abstract than that, which is fine. It's good to know. I mean, other than outlining what I already did with this stencil, I'm not sure I'll use it again, but that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, 
Where can I put you? Put you up there. All right. Let's get you wiped up. Okay, well, we can put this one away because I don't think I'm going to use it again because it's just, it's too big to really be able to see the leaf outline or something. I don't know. But worth, a, worth an experiment on a jelly print that's been in my unfinished file forever. Okay. Okay, so let's pull you off and let you let it dry for a minute. Let's grab this one. This one, I do, do have the name. Is this this one? No. This is this one. This one it, this one is um, TCW Slimline Stencil, Slimline Gentle Leaves, that one's called. I'll let you know where I can. I do think these are from Shy's Art, though, if that helps. Okay, now we've got lots of tags here. So, tags and other things. So... Let's do some leaves on this guy. I'm going to cover this one. I think some others I'll just make a swath down the middle like I did on some of those others. like icing a cake. And I'm by no mean an, means an expert, so, you know, others might have tips of how to do better. But, uh, I don't know. I do okay for myself here. Okay, scoop that off a little bit. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Okay. That one turned out good. Now, let's do one with just kind of a swath down the middle. Like we did on those others. I really liked how those came out, so whirl then I'll need to, you know, I don't know. It needs, it needs something more. I'm not sure what. Oh, I do know. Let's do this. We're going to gild the edges. Instead of like, um, I mean, it's already been inked and you can't really see it on this side because it's so dark, but now it's got this pretty gold outline. Okay, cool. Let that dry. The, uh, 
cream paste does dry fairly quickly too is another plus to it let's see so this one is kind of interesting I think it I think I'm gonna go over the whole thing with these leaves and then it'll have like two layers of leaves on it because that's modeling paste or cream paste or something was left over from some mixed media project and I just spread it on a tag. So, let's see what we can do about adding another layer. Oops, yuck, got a, got a hair. No thank you to the extra protein. This is relaxing, I have to say. Just kind of a very fun Saturday morning. Something to do. Even though you're gonna see this on Mixed Media Monday. Ah. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Not my favorite, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time already. I can't believe it. Okay, let's let's pick something else. Maybe this one. I don't think this one needs to be leaves though. What else do we want leaves on? Maybe this, but I feel like I'm putting too much paste on and I'm getting it underneath. So I'm just going to really lightly try and do this. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. Um, anything else? Kind of feeling like doing some other things, so we're gonna just give that a scrub. You know that um, the one that. I said looks like fireworks. That stencil might be kind of might be kind of cool too. Personally, I don't mind if paint and such builds up on my stencils if it's not um, you know in the actual design in the cuts because it makes the stencil stronger actually. So, at least that's my philosophy. Okay, so this one, don't you think that could be kind of neat with the gold? Let's see. See what we can do. How about this one? This one's got a lot of pattern to it already. I'm going to just kind of go in the middle like I did that other one. Let's see, I think it goes the other way. Yeah. Okay. So, we're just going to go I'll leave a bit of that purple. in this stencil. Okay. Girls heating up. Gotta turn off my heater. Ooh, that's cool. 
Yeah, that turned out really neat. I like that one a lot. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm really out of room. <laughs> wonder if some of these are dry. Yes, like this one's dry. Okay. I'm going to pick up a few that are dry here. So I have room to keep going. And just gently put them on each other here. Yep. It's dry. It's kind of so, kind of sort of dry. Okay. Um any others that I might like this on this one. I might try and cover the whole thing. I am really tickled about the um, um, cover. I didn't know how that was going to turn out, and I'm so happy it turned out well. Okay. Ooh, that one's cool, too. Ooh, I love that stencil. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to try this, this gold on it were these little, it's just craft card stock. Um, let's do something a little different. We did a few of those. Okay. to use this on something. Okay. Maybe we'll do these two things with this. Seem like those are dry. Let's just do this little leaf here. little one in the corner. That's fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. I actually like it best when it's not, but I do want the pattern to show. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's do, let's do this too, but I think I'm going to do this one kind of going up the side like that. that little stem okay ooh that's cool too inked around the edges that'll be really cool all right ooh. let's see 
um, I think I'm, I've got more, got more on here. So I'm just going to maybe do some randomness on this one. And use up what's on my knife. Maybe a little more. <laughs> what random looks like. Oh, cool. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? Okay, I am going to stop there, I think. Oh, except I did. I did have some other things I wanted to show ya, so. But let's stop there. I feel like I did a good job of using one of my supplies. <laughs> Little cream paste used. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and scrub this off. This time I'm just doing it on my drop paper because it will decorate the drop paper a little bit. Pretty, huh? And I'll do this side a bit because I need a new. So some stuff that I didn't get used is, um, sorry, one more swipe. Okay, that, and better swipe this or I'm going to have a goobered up palette knife. Ooh, big glob there. starts to dry and then then it's there okay okay so a couple things I was thinking of doing because I thought I'd run out I always think I'm gonna get more done than I do is these um, just painted acrylic paint on book page and then that it's fun for collage I had these things by Papery by Jennifer that are, um, they're speckly, they're sprayed, I think, dyed vintage she calls it, shimmer inked backgrounds. I thought those would be fun too. So maybe, maybe for another day, huh? Okay, let me do, oh, and then I also had my, um, my little file of unfinished uh, jelly prints because, yeah, so that works. Okay, so here's this pocket. Love that. That one's pretty much dry. Here's the little, um, just a piece of coffee dyed cardstock folded in half. Love that. Could go over that. Let's do it just real quick here. I'm thinking I might want to go over that a little bit with the vintage photo. Yeah. Cool. So that defines it a little more, but I still have some wide areas there too. So loving that. Here's the two first ones that we did. So fun. Love this. Okay, um, let's see. Grabbing. Okay, this is this is the um 
jelly printed envelope and it'll go in like a pocket like that. Needs extra decorating, I think. I think it needs more than that. Okay, and then I'll just start with everything else. Here's the black and white tag that we did. I really like that. Um, here is the Coupe de Gras, my <laughs> the one that I really wanted to do, and I'm real happy with how that turned out. Okay. Um, that's pretty dry, too. These are pretty dry. So fun. I'm going to set some of the dry ones over here just to separate them from the non-dry ones. Okay, here's this one. It's okay. I feel like it needs a little it needs a little paint or a little ink or something. I don't feel like that one's done done. But and then this little one just scrap of paper with um, coffee dyed on the back. Easy peasy. Ah, uh, here's this one. And I like that. I do. I don't know if I want something over here or not. So yet to be determined on that. Um, here's this little card. Looks a bit reptilian. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my bug journal needs that. I don't know. Um, this one. I like that. Let's see. Oh, this one. Love how this one came out. This is the one where the stencil had some ink on it. Some blue ink. I hope you can see the blue. It's really pretty in, in real life here. Okay. And then we've got... This one, I'm liking that. We have got this one that we edged with the gold too. Um, this one that was a bit mar the Tim Holtz marbly paper is what that tag was. Um, and then this one. That one's fun, huh? like it. Okay, and then over here, oh, gotta reach. So there's this one that was sprayed and it was just a blotchy mop-up tag, basically. And then this one. We made a bunch of stuff, guys. A bunch of stuff. I really like I really like that one too. That turned out cool. And this one. This little again, it's just a little bit of craft card stock that's been folded. So that is it, guys. Yeah, that's a little play with cream paste, Stamperia cream paste. Let me one more time show you the, show you that. So thanks so much for playing today. I so appreciate it. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.